In this video guys, we're gonna look at the dangers of adding new tools to your trading tool chest. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so appreciate you tuning in. And the question came in from Mark, good name, Penel. He said, hey, thanks for the great video. Thanks for another great video. Appreciate that, Mark. Thank you, got a question. Okay, every time, this is a great question by the way, every time I try adding a new strategic item to my trading plan, say for example, Fib levels, it sets me back. Just when I seem to be getting somewhere, I try adding in something new and start doing badly again. Is it better to stick with something you know, get to know it like the back of your hand and not try to become jack of all trades or is it better to have many tools in your belt and pay the price of learning to use them both in terms of failed trades and delaying further, oh, lost it, the journey to becoming profitable? Uh, uh, it goes on and says some more little bits and pieces though, but I appreciate that question, Mark, and it's a great question. It's one that comes up uh, very often, personally in traders, I know myself, I've thought this a lot, and I know other traders. So let's address a couple of those things and, and, and try to drill down into it. So the main thing is, it doesn't matter how you are making your money, you could be trading one strategy on one market, the end of the year, if you're up 100 grand, it's the same 100 grand as if you're up trading 1,000 strategies in 1,000 markets. So from a perspective of making money, which is what we all trying to do as traders, make as much money as possible, the least amount of risk possible, then it doesn't matter how we do it. Okay, so we don't need to think that the more strategy equates equals more money, or well, then the argument could be, counter argument could be, well, more opportunity. But then my counter argument could that would be, well, if you're confident in one strategy, you can just put the size that you would trade, the risk that you would trade on the multiple strategies into more of that, into that one strategy. And so, yes, the position sizes are bigger, but ultimately the goal should still be the same. Okay, but if we put that to one side, there is a mental thing when we try to, which we're getting some traction and then we start to add other things. Because as I've mentioned before, guys, and you're gonna know this, if we are looking at too many things, we can't focus. I've made this mistake myself. I've got pictures where I've got my screens up and I've got so many markets on there. I've got different time frames. I've got this, I've got that. And I thought it was the right thing to do. And the journey then to try to become you know, profitable, try to get a decent kind of return from the market is so tricky because one minute you're trading this, one minute you're trading that. And it's the same with strategies. You know, if you've got a multiple amount of different strategies, you're never confident enough to pull the trigger on that one strategy. You know, there's enough, uh, there's, a, there's a strategy out there where you can literally have two or three strategies and that will be enough for you to make the money that you want to make in trading. You don't need a multiple amount of strategies. You can have core foundational strategies, two or three foundational strategies, one for kind of a trending market, one for a mean reversion market, one for, for something else, or even one, and then have little tiny hybrids of that. So you trust the core strategy, the core strategy, whatever that is, whatever the process is, maybe it's buying a bull flag, maybe it's buying a support, maybe it's fading an X day high, whatever it is, and then you add little bits into it to suit the conditions that you're in, in terms of your targets, in terms of your risk, in terms of when you take the trade, when you pull the trigger, all this kind of stuff. But you've got a core one, two or three max strategies that those are built from. But what you don't wanna do is to meddle with them and change things. Now, there's a fine line, and this is, I think this is kind of the question of, okay, if I want to improve things, how do I improve them? Do I add this in, adding this, say for example, fib into it to improve it, but actually it sets me back. So I'm looking to seek improvement, I'm looking to get better, but ultimately these are setting me back. So what the, the best thing to do in that situation is if you're making money with a strategy, don't meddle with it at all. Do not touch it, do not even play with it, just trade that strategy. And then in parallel, you need to trade that strategy with some adjustments because obviously, if you're trading a strategy that's working, then keep that working and build the confidence that that strategy is going to work. That's the most important thing is the confidence that strategy is going to work for you consistently. So that's sitting there, that's chugging, that's making you money over time, that's great. Now you could just dial up the size with that or you could iterate it and adjust it to improve its efficiency. And I get why you want to do that. So 
run one in parallel with small size with the tweaks like adding something else into it, like adding a fib for a target, like adding this or that. Don't add everything in at once, add one thing and trade it as you would, but with the same tweaks. Trade it small size over a long period of time and see the difference. So don't say, you know, don't have the, don't let it negatively impact anything, but you're trying something new. So you add something new to the mix. Hey, I've seen a massive improvement when I've used this as a target. Great, well, okay, why don't I start allocating more capital? 50% is the old strategy, 50% is the new strategy. Bear in mind, they're very similar strategies, but one's got slightly different. And then when I'm fully confident in that, then I get rid of that and I use this strategy. Then I want to iterate again. Maybe want to tweak this, the kind of stops and, and limits. Maybe want to add uh, something in that helps me, guides me into the real, real GM, real beauty, A plus grade trades. And so you might add that in again. Then you start adding small position size into that. You do 90% on that, 10% on this, run them in parallel, and then you see the difference. And then that way, you're not giving up what's working for you previously. You're not going right more for this and then getting upset and then frustrated, which we all do when we, we're kind of making progress because basically we end up taking two steps back rather than just the one and going back to where we were. end up going and having to build the confidence up in the strategy again. It puts doubts in whether the strategy is effective. So build the base, keep the base. If you want to iterate and improve the strategy, then do it slowly. Add a little bit, but then don't feel like it's taking you a step back because if you accept that, hey, if I lose with this, it's 10%, it's not an issue. I've still got a foundational strategy that's working and that's great. So you can iterate with that. If you don't see an improvement, think of another way of iterating it. Think of another way, test and iterate and improve. And you just keep doing that as you go along. But the main thing is, is that you're keeping that confidence in the strategy in itself. You're not trying loads of different things. You're just trying to adjust very slowly, and improve it very, very slowly as you go along. Thinking some of my strategies now, you know, they've, they've improved many, many times, but I've been through times where I've maybe made too much of a leap with the strategy, tried to be too clever with it, tried to finesse the entry too much, tried to, you know, overdo things, and it's done exactly what you mentioned in the question, uh, Mark, which was, hey, it's taking me a step back. So now, if I want to iterate a strategy to adjust the conditions, perhaps, then I'll do that. Keep the core strategy, add a little bit of a flavor, a little bit of a change to it, but keeping that core there so that I, at least I know that I've got something that's sound and it's working well. All right, hope this answers your question. Appreciate your question coming in as I do all your guys' questions and support if you're a subscriber. Take care. Bye-bye.